So this video is all about mastering your Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus. Let the download begin. So really quickly, we're going to go over some of the device features for the S10 Plus. The first thing is it was all about accessing easy mode on your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Let's get started. If you don't know what the easy mode is, well, for people like me with terrible eyes or older people who are using this phone, the easy mode gives you the ability to make icons a little bit bigger. It makes the visual experience of the phone actually pretty straightforward and the layout a lot simpler. If you're giving this phone to someone who's elderly, someone who's not used to technology, the easy mode is probably the way to go. We're going to show you how to activate that right now and it's really simple so from here you're just going to swipe all the way down you're going to hit the settings you're going to go to display if you scroll all the way down you have easy mode right there and then it gives you a little description of what easy mode is and it gives you the ability to switch between standard mode and easy mode we're going to turn it on just so you can see what it looks like bam not much difference in the actual screen itself but when you go out oh my goodness everything looks huge so yes it makes the icons a lot bigger it makes the display a lot more cleaner and if you go into your icon tray here you can see that all the icons are huge even i can see that so it's definitely 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 the thing for people who have either trouble seeing or have trouble accessing the screen it works well for the elderly i guess i don't want to insult any elderly people but this is definitely a mode that i know a lot of people could take advantage of check it out easy mode you know how to activate it. This video is all about the Samsung Galaxy S10 and digital well being. Well, I'm glad you act. It's the ability for you to kind of monitor your usage of the phone throughout the day. We use these things a lot. We open apps a lot. We have on screen time a lot. And sometimes it's cool to manage that stuff and understand just how much you're looking at your phone to help you not look at your phone so much. That's what this video is all about. I'm going to show you how to access those settings. I'm going to show you what those settings tell you. Let's get started. All right, guys. So one of the first things you could do, just like everything else, you're going to swipe down from the top for the settings icon. Scroll all the way down. Keep going. I passed it. So I'm going to go back up. Digital well-being is right here. Go ahead and tap that bad boy. And boom, it really comes up with a lot of information for you to digest. Shows you how many times you unlocked your phone. Shows you how many notifications you have. It shows the smart things that you use, others, calendars. And this one little feature it has here is a wind down mode. So what wind down mode does is it basically drains all the color out of your screen. And this is perfect for when you're going to go to sleep and you either want to just use your phone finally before you go to bed. Sometimes they say that ambient light from the phone can really affect the way you either sleep or affect the way you fall asleep at night using that wind down mode definitely does help I can tell you personally I kind of use it every now and then it does help me as well check it out so if you hit the middle it actually brings you to your screen time and it shows you all the apps that you kind of use throughout the day I use a lot of apps so don't pay attention to any of this but it definitely does show you and it shows you over time less screen time on Sunday more screen time on Monday and even more screen time on Tuesday I'm trending in the wrong direction so don't pay attention to that digital well-being monitor how much you use your phone Let's try not to use it too crazy. You heard it here first. This video is all about the Samsung Galaxy S10, the always on display. I'm gonna show you how to access it. I'm gonna show you how to customize it. Let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is head over to the settings in the on-screen display. So you're gonna swipe down from the top, hit that cog, get into the settings, and you're gonna swipe down until you see lock screen. And then from lock screen, you're gonna have your always on display here. It brings you into your always on display settings. If you scroll down, you have a little bit more settings that you can kind of customize. It has the display mode. Display mode is tap to show. It means if the screen is on, you can tap it. On screen display pops up. You can always show it, which always on display, I guess you would always want to show it. Some people don't. That's why the settings are here. You can have it scheduled. I actually use this one because I don't want it on during the day because it is a little bit of a battery killer. But when I'm home near a charger, I can have it on. So I usually set it to turn on at the end of the day, turn on in the morning. But by the time I go to work, I'm good to go. You can even set the screen orientation. So if you want portrait or landscape, either one will work for you. You can set to say if it shows music information. So if you're like playing music, you always on display will always have some kind of way to pause, rewind or fast forward the music on that display as well. And auto brightness. So auto brightness is self-explanatory. It's brightness auto controlled by the phone. I don't think I have to explain that one. Now you can actually 
tweak it a little bit by going into the settings. And what this does is it gives you the ability to set the wallpapers to something fun or something not fun, but clockwise. It does give you a lot of different things that you can set and you can always go in to the Samsung theme store. And this gives you the ability to download more always on displays at a price. Sometimes you can actually find some really cool free ones. So go through the store, dig a little bit. You can find something really cool that you don't have to pay for. Check it out. This video is all about the Samsung Galaxy S10 and multitasking. I'm going to show you how to use two apps at once. Let's get started. All right, guys. So this is really easy. First, you need two apps open, of course. Once the apps are opened up, then you can hit your app display button here. And then you're going to hit the top of the app icon here. And then you're going to give the ability to do a split screen. And it's usually the second option, open and split screen. It's going to open at the top. It's going to ask you to select a second app. And boom, both apps are now open and I can interchange both apps. You can adjust the size of the window of the app itself. If you're, you know, a person that works and actually does work on your phone, you can actually multitask. You can watch YouTube on bottom, manage your calendar on the top, vice versa. Whatever you need to do, multitasking is actually a really cool option. The screen definitely supports it. It has enough pixels to do it. Now you know exactly how to do it. I'm going to go through it again really quickly in case you missed it. Boom, close that out. Select. Open and split screen. Select the other app. Both apps are open and split screen. You can adjust the size of the window. You can make one app full window. Go back out, dismiss both apps, and you're good to go. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share your thoughts, comments, and questions in the comment section below the video. Thank you for checking it out. And until next time, peace.